बेटा सी वॉट इज मास्टर फंड वॉट इज फीडर फंड वॉट इज ब्लॉक स्टार एंटिटी See, let us take an example. Blackstone. This is the private equity firm. Okay, American private equity firm. Yes. This Blackstone wanted to launch a fund. It wanted to launch a fund card. For example, it raises money from Rakesh Junjunwala. Ratan Tata. Mukesh Ambani. Dhoni. Obama. वारन बफेट सो लेट अस अस्सीयम इट रेस्ड हंड्रेड क्रोस फ्रॉम ईच इन्वेस्टर सो इट वांट्स टू स्टार्ट आलिन वन रियल एस्टेट फंड इट होल्ड ऑलमोस्ट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स हंड्रेड क्रोर्स फ्रॉम वेरियस इन्वेस्टर्स हाई नेटवर्क इंडिविजुअल्स एंड इन्वेस्टेड और स्टार्टेड ए फंड कार्ड ब्लैक स्टोन सो लेटर इट सोल्ड दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट फॉर थाउजेंड क्रोर्स सो फोर हंड्रेड क्रोर्स विल बी प्रॉफिट So let us assume that this four hundred crores is distributed to these investors. Here there is foreign investors. Like these are the foreign investors because the fund is. Let us assume that the fund is in USA. So Rakesh Jhumjhu, Ratan Tata, Kesh Ambani, Dhoni, these are foreign investors. Okay. Now, when the fund sold thousand crores and distributed the amount to these investors, there will be tax consequences. Like the U.S. government will charge tax on this mutual fund, this uh, fund, like investment fund. Okay. For example, on this four hundred crores, the U.S. government will levy tax. At the same time. The Indian government will levy tax on Rakesh Junjunwala, Ratan Tata, Mukesh Ambani, Dhoni. Because they are the residents of India. Let us assume that there is no double taxation avoidance agreement between. There is no agreement between USA and India. So tax is charged two times. Okay. As the fund is in America, the U.S. government is levying tax. So as the fund is in America, the U.S. government is levying tax. So as the investors are residents of India, Indian government is levying tax. So there is two times tax. Also, let us assume that U.S. government is prohibiting. India not to investment, not to invest. India not to invest. So the Blackstone, which want, which want to launch fund, is facing two issues. One is tax issue. 
other is regulatory issues to avoid these tax issues and regulatory issues master fund and feeder fund for blocks are entity these are formed now let us discuss master fund so the fund incorporated in usa is called master fund so master fund is nothing but this is the main fund incorporated in a country where general partner is located gp is located so all the major all the major investments relating to this fund which one all in one invest all in one real estate fund so all the major investments relating to this fund investment fund will be done will be made in in this master fund this fund is also called onshore fund because it is located in the country where the fund is formed onshore fund if we see the feeder fund if we see the feeder fund this feeder fund is the supporting fund the main role of this feeder fund is to move to pull money from various investors and feed it or send it to the master fund means they will form a separate fund in india also so that india instead of rajesh junjunwala dhoni ratan tata going to abroad or sending funds to abroad they can directly invest in feeder fund so this is also called supporting fund the major role of this feeder fund is to collect to pull money from various investors and feed it to the master fund so that master fund can accept international investments also international investments also so this fund is also called offshore fund means the private equity fund the investment fund is forming two fund one is master fund and one is investment fund so in this way the investment fund can avoid tax issues and also it can avoid regulatory issues see regulatory issues like for example the master fund for example there is no dt um, there is a prohibitory agreement between india and usa now what this feeder fund will do is it will invest in mauritius government let us mauritius government now let us assume that mauritius government is investing in america so these funds will be sent to mauritius and mauritius government will invest here so in this way the funds can be routed so this regulatory issues can also be avoided so the main role of this feeder fund is to reduce the tax burden and also to avoid regulatory issues so this is what exactly master fund feeder fund and also blockstock entity